I think a lot of pro pro teams are underusing the six pick. Like you literally could six pick from clash to mute. You could six pick I don't know Volkery to mute. Because if enemy team thinks that you're going to have Volkery, they will always have to be worried about finding the Volky camera. Okay, so you you want to reinforce this one, open up Legolas over here, so from over there, also from over there, you can contest the freezer push, and not just from the freezer, like, this part of the freezer. Uh, when the observer goes up, I will explain how usually this is called. By the way, I'm not sure how many of you guys know, but here's a drone hole. I'm going to mention drone holes in these streams as much as possible because I realize that not many people understand where the drone holes are. Here's also a drone hole. And also, with having someone in the meeting proning, you can deny anyone going towards the green. I'm going to mention more about the drone holes because I actually realized that not many people know about the drone holes. And these are kind of very important, especially for a droner. Especially this uh, dining, like this dr dining uh, drone hall, you denied a, a full rotation there. Does a break up during the discussion? Does run <laughs> exactly. Okay, so finally we we can see the blue. So what you usually want to do in the ranked or even the pro league is to have a deployable shield over here, uh, and you want to have a distance between the wall and the shield because. If a nice charge explodes over here and the deployable shield is very close to the wall, even if here's an ADS, the, the, sh the shield will be destroyed. So you want to have the deployable shield over here. You want to have body levels angles from over here against for this angle. And then you want to have someone by the Shaiko spot so he can play aggressively with this deployable shield. So basically when they try to waste the, the shield, Shaiko peaks. So sh Shaiko is, a, Shaiko is the spot hit, it is not the person in this situation. And Nadi, thanks for the follow mate. I mean, Dean has pretty stress, but for adaptive 6 pick, it will be not long enough for that to pick. It is, I mean, it has to be, it has to be pre-discussed in a fight team. So as an attacker, you yeah, will probably be, be able to see the blue push. So we, they need to push blue meeting at the same time. Because for the, uh, also they have to open a meeting hedge, because from the meeting hedge you can deny the pillar spot. And the moment they deny the pillar spot, then they can clear out the elbow. And they, when they clear out the elbow, they can start to do the execution. If, if there is any call, like you don't understand, let me know. Then now you stream. I watch your YouTube guys all the time and thoroughly enjoy them. Oh, I don't play the game at the moment. Thanks, mate. Yeah, actually, I, not so recently, but yeah, I think I started to stream maybe two months ago. And I hope that you found them useful, even if you are kind of in a, on a break. And it's totally understandable. Because probably the game is not at the best state for anyone that well, doesn't like the utility meta, the utility simulator. So basically, you want to clear out the pillars, you want to clear out the Shaiko, you want to clear out the elbow, and then start to do the execution. Plant over here, clear out anyone by the freezer, and that's that's the plan for the attackers. Also, just just one more thing. There, there, are two, there are two very hard things for the attackers to do. It is to clear out the elbow, or L, and the second thing is to clear out anyone by the freezer. Usually, how do you clear out but the freezer is to smoke off him. Because you really cannot clear out this guy unless you win the gunfights. The reason why this guy is very powerful is because he can deny your uh, plant. Navi is playing a bit too aggressive, but that's kind of what Navi is doing always. So just a reminder, uh, we, are not going, we are not going to re review this full match, just a couple of rounds. So I'm, I'm going to go as much in depth as possible. So with this uh, frag grenade, he's going to destroy the civil eye as well as anyone, if anyone is playing like by this spot, by the pillars. 
And, 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 and one more thing. One more thing. Uh, when we see Ash. So, as you can see, Ash also can see the other part of the pillars. Do you think the map pool meta has shit now with the new rank? Do you think that the the map pool meta has shifted now with the old shifted from what? About the and which new remakes you you're talking about the like uh re map reworks or? Okay, so the the pillars play was clear. So they have to clear out the Shaiko spot, and that is usually done by like destroying this wall from the meeting hedge. But the thing is, how to push out Maestro? Like Maestro is Maestro will just deny the hard breaches. So even if they smoke out this, he is going to impact that wall. Well, Rogue actually rotated for the lobby and the freezer push by having Ash for the well, never mind. And Navi is very fun to watch. They are very aggressive, especially on Cafe. They are going to jump from every single window possible. Yeah, Rogue is not winning this. Like you really can't push this. So for the for this hold, we can probably see a lot of utility play being placed in the attic. So probably destroy hedge, barred wire, and then Malusi get it over here with a deployable shield over there. That is usually how it is done. Then we'll probably be able to see uh, defenders early playing the trophy just to waste a couple of drones and just time and then rotate towards the close games. We we'll probably someone will always be playing on the top right. That's a very important position. And then you have two operators that can be anywhere. Some some teams even roam from the basement of the pools. For the attackers, the main thing is to open up the tower walls and to get the control of the trophy. Then you want to smoke off this and open up the tarps so you clear out anyone by the tarps. Uh, the final thing before the execution is to open up the game's wall and then probably to smoke out this area and start to plan probably like here. The thing is a smoke glitching from there. So some, some teams also prefer to plant over here. Also sometimes, not sometimes, usually you will see attackers have one player rotating on the big window to deny this rotation. And uh, someone from the attackers denying this rotation. But this rotation is very like this, this position is very powerful because of the top white. Uh, hey, what's up? I came from the YouTube video. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Well, welcome, welcome. It's nice to see you here. I hope that you enjoy the uh, the anchor guide video. Also, before we have been doing the ranked match reviews, but since since there's not not enough uh, like ranked match reviews. Uh, we will do maybe a couple of rounds in the Pro League. Also, if you want your match to be reviewed, there is just a link over there. Uh, so basically, Navi is very fun to play, as a, as we have stated, because of this because of this walkie camera spot. This walkie camera spot will see anyone trying to go towards the balcony, and what says will do is just run out and kill everybody there. So I'm pretty sure that we'll see the run out very, very shortly. Yeah, so... But he's, he's expected, actually. And Av is very aggressive. And it, it is not easy to play against the very aggressive teams because you have to be worried about every single possible angle. And every single possible run out. And now even Doki is playing in the classroom. Like, why would you... So, if you will be playing in the ranked in this classroom, I will comment you that you're going that you're playing in the red position, or in the position that you cannot run away. Because if they open up this barricade, then you cannot reach it back. But Doki doesn't care. And the thing about Yorogon is, it is the defended-sided map. 
If you're doing this kind of plays on the coastline, that it's fine because coastline is on the take side of the map. But on the defended side of maps, playing this kind of risky plays is kind of well risky. <laughs> okay, so they have opened up the game's wall within the first one minute. They still have to open up the tarp's wall. I'm not sure if Rogue pushed from the tower. I don't think they have pushed from the tower. Maestro gets killed. Just to mention, pushing from below as a Zofia Resh is very powerful, because from the below, you can ignore any ADS or magnets. So basically, you don't need to waste any ADS or magnets to destroy the Plobo shield. That is why playing from below is very, very strong. So, uh, just slide a bit back. Uh, so why do it? Why do they need to clear out the tarps? Or it is recommended because if they smoke off this angle, or if they clear out this deployable shield, actually they destroy the deployable shield from below. The tarps guy can kill any planter. So if we get a better angle. Okay, so we have a better angle. So that's that's if if you if you really cannot clear out the tarp position, then you always have an attacker dedicated watching this angle. Because again, this guy can deny every single plant. Smoke from this position can deny the other default plant spot, like behind the stables. So the only way to attackers to plant is probably over here, which can be denied from the like from the other side of the like from the kids. Not, not kids, but dorms, like this corner spot. And this deployable shield was destroyed from below, and this deployable shield is very strong against the trophy push. What meta came after the Yingles meta? I think it was it possibly that, or I think it was Monty with the revolver meta. I'm not sure that when Monty revolver meta arrived. Ooh. And Saves is even pushing more aggressive. Oh god, Saves. Sometimes you have to stop. Sometimes you really have to stop. Like, when you got the first kill, when you got the first kill, probably you don't want to push uh, the breach and anyone probably contesting your angle, but Saves win this. But now you definitely shouldn't be pushing Bedroom. But uh, as I said, Navi is that kind of a team. So this is a corner spot, yeah. I think you can use a smoke leash to stop the plant next to the door. Uh, next to next to this door, yes. But if you're going to plant over here, then only only way to deny that spot is from over here. Like if you're going to deny this, like if you're going to deny this from this door, then you will be exposed from the trophy. And if you're going to deny this from the like top white, you will be exposed from this angle. <laughs> Dachen, yeah. This is Dachen's review. So Dachen is pretty much everybody. Any attack, and the defend. He's playing with the 10 monitors. Also, he's diamond. Now he just speaks everything. Okay, we are going to see... I'm going to just do one, one, more, one more round. He's probably going to be dining in the kitchen. Oh, did, did I see? Did I see FMG? Richard, smoke with FMG. So just re just remember this: when someone asks you that you should always be picking a shotgun, I mean you probably in ninety nine percent should be picking a shotgun, but there are some situations that FMG is viable. I have seen FMG played by the catfolk on the clubhouse. And this is probably the other objective, but let me actually see how many shotguns were played. Uh, well, there was just one pocket shotgun. Okay, that's interesting. I thought that they will have mute. So basically they had just one pocket shotgun. Hmm. Can, can we see smoke slowed out? Because they seem to, again, have just one pocket shotgun. 
now you really need a lot of rotations like you need to open up a lot of indoor showers you need to open up two rotations you need to open up like leg levels okay you have you can have kai to do that but legion okay the thing about legion is legion has two impacts maestro has two impacts and you have four impacts to impact check the showers roll that's pretty nice right but they they have chosen to go with the kai okay so basically you want to hold heavily showers you want to impact check this wall with these leg levels probably maestro this shield you also want to have the global shield over here because again here's a drone hole that can destroy this shield that's why you don't see the shield over here anymore and then you probably you probably want to have two roamers on the top Okay, so you can see, uh, you, you even, so you basically need here rotation, you probably want to have rotation as much like down as possible because of the windows angle. Also need a here rotation and then you need rotation towards the B side, like the kitchen. Okay, so this this spot will probably deny Kali and Thatcher is banned as you can see. I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure. I didn't test that out, but there's a possibility that Kali won't be able to destroy this if they have picked Kali. So as an, as a defender you want to hold top white as much as possible and possibly a bedroom. So you want to play by this corner and top white. So as long as you have this in control, attackers won't be able to contest the dining. The moment uh, attackers get the vertical control, they can be pushing for the meeting, and they then they can start to plant. I mean, TCSG on the PC is uh, fine. <clears throat> If you have issues with the TCSG and the rotations, make two vertical holes. So yeah, if you're going to do the meeting side, then you need to top floor control, because on the top floor you can push anyone from the B, and also from the top you can you can disallow anyone from the security to push away the, anyone by planting behind a solid cover. Also, it is very important to notice that many many teams have lost the the attack on the top floor is because they don't have a rappel over here. So if you have a rappel over here, then you pretty much deny them playing by the top fight, and that is already huge. Yeah, they also know that the hatch upstairs in Tiz is a particularly important one, but none of the defenders are up there any longer, and instead Leon gets early control as well as an early... Whoa, Rogue was granted top floor for free. That's probably not the best, but Kobe... But I think Rogue should have won this round. But yeah, as you can see from the top, you also can deny the security. And let me see if we could have seen the, the plant spot. Let me see if we could... Yeah, you, you can see. So over here. And this is kind of covering the planter. So the only way to, to kill this planter is either smoke glitching, which can be denied from the top, or from the security, which also can be denied from the top. That is Kai tricked. May, uh, that, that, that is Kai. Did. So maybe it will be kind of harder to find a Kai spot. Ash is down. This is huge for Navi because they kind of destroyed all the flying drones. Oof. Yeah, this is no good. This is no good. Yeah, this is a rip. This was basically a one round. Round one for Rogue, I would like to say. It's, it is very hard to impossible to retake it, and now we did it. Okay, 
Yeah, I would say the moment they destroy the flank drones, and they just got, I don't know, how killed. I mean, it's still winnable, actually. But it should have been very cleaner. Ooh, two defenders are off the objective and they don't have any idea. Ooh, he's going to be flying so bad. Yep. The evil eye. The evil eye is the clutch. Yeah, this is over. Uh, th this was basically a throw. Because they they literally were gifted like the top floor. I'm not sure how Ash got killed. I'm not sure what Dermot tried to do. 